Okay, people, so this is going to be a quick video on the red light pointer and what you can do with it and what you can't do with it. So let's say you have some text, and we'll make this five millimeters. Uh, we don't care about the font, but let's do something basic. So text line one and text line two. Okay, apply. So here's your text. Now you want to outline it. So down here you got this red light pointer and then over here in this parameters field when you click that you're going to get this pop-up. If you go to other and then red light pointer these are the settings for the red light pointer. Okay, if you click enable show contour and click OK and click OK. When you preview this, what you're going to see is the actual text that's highlighting. And if you have more than one line of text, it's going to highlight everything you have there. If you go back to parameters, red light other, red light pointer, and uncheck, uncheck that, what you're going to get when you click outline you're going to get just a rectangle box that contains all the text okay now I'll stop that now there's some other settings in here parameters other red light pointer light speed okay if you slow this down you're going to get a very very slow outline if I put that to 100 and I click OK and I click OK and I go to red light you're going to get a very, very slow outline on that red dot pointer. Now, if I go back, other, red light pointer, and I change this to 4,000, I'm still going to get an outline. It's going to be a little faster, but it's still going to trace every individual letter. Okay? It'll only go so fast. You're not going to see the whole word without it going through one letter at a time, unless it's extremely small text or only a couple of letters. So what do you do if you got to line up this text next to something and you got multiple lines? Um, the only way I found to do it is to navigate over to edit, ungroup the text, and now you can click each letter individually. Okay. Now, if you want to line this up, what you're going to do is select one letter. You're going to come down here and you're going to click on this mark selected. What this is going to do is it's going to isolate only what you have selected and then when you click trace it's only going to trace that letter. So here's the problem with that. Let's say now you have to move it and you need to bump it left or right. You got to stop this. Now you got to select everything and then you got to move It's not working with the arrows here. Okay, my arrow buttons aren't working. All right, so let's say I want to move this text. Now I got to move it. Now I can select that again and recheck the alignment. It's the only way I've found that you can do that. Um, you can select any of the letters in there, trace it, see how it lines up. You can always do is you can always come back in and then regroup this. And now you have your text again. Problem is, once you ungroup this and you regroup it, you no longer have editable text where you can change the text over here on the left. Um, so, like now, I can't separate this two with a space. So, I'd have to ungroup it again, take this two, and now I got to line this two up because now it's no longer text. It's now basically a vector outline once you ungroup it. So you got to be careful what you're doing with this. And then, you know, if you're over here and you're lining up the text, usually the arrow keys, you can bump this uh, left and right while it's tracing. Uh, but if you forget and you move one letter, now your text is all wonky. So you have to be careful how you do that. But that's the only way I've been able to find how to line up uh, text one, one line or one letter at a time. Um, so hope that helps you guys. Uh, you know, you know what to do with the buttons. Okay, so I forgot something.
So let's put the uh, text back in here, okay? Um, if your red light, red light pointer doesn't line up exactly what you're engraving, uh, the adjustments for that are here also in parameters, other, red light pointer. And here's where you move the X and Y offset for the red light pointer. So if you're, after you engrave something and you trace it in the red, the red light, the red light pointer is not exactly on the text. It's a little bit to the left or to the right. You move this X value, try different values until your red light pointer lines up exactly what you just engraved and you can't move anything. So do an engrave, trace it with the red light pointer and see how it lines up. Adjust these X and Y values so that when you're lining something up, you know exactly where it's going to engrave.